and welcome to a new week. My name's Nicola if you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. Sorry I look like this, I'm just about to put some makeup on. Um, I've not been well, <laughs> I'm not well. I was wondering whether to start a weekly, but it is the Beach Hut Weekly and I know a lot of you look forward to this week, so I didn't want to let you down. And I'm still going to the Beach Hut even though I'm not well. <laughs> Um, sweating, I've got to stop that before I do my makeup. So let me fill you in. Uh, Friday I went to the back pain clinic and I've started to record my time there for you. Not recording while I'm there but when I get back I fill you in on what I learn. So I've started to do that but then I was feeling a bit weird at the back pain clinic and I thought it was the fluorescent lighting because you know it's so horrible. And I felt really dizzy and then I was thinking no it's either a flare or it's something it doesn't feel like a normal flare though because I was so spaced out anyway mistakenly because it was Friday me and Mark had a little drink together thinking that that might help but it didn't and I was very sick <laughs> um, and then the next day yesterday I woke up with the most horrendous cramps at either side of my stomach. Not a bug, it's not a bug. Um, very, very hot. Uh, felt very, very sick all day. Very lethargic. And I couldn't work it out. Like, this might be too much information, but on the Friday, I couldn't stop weeing. Like, I literally was weeing every few minutes. And you may think, oh, she's got a urine infection. No, it's not that next day i didn't i weed once yesterday once in the whole day okay so what then i realized what was going on and it is my adhesions so in my abdomen i've had so many abdominal surgeries that i have adhesions in there that look like piccadilly junction they're just everywhere i've had ct scans and people the medical professionals say they've never seen anything like it they said it's they're literally like a spider's web they're everywhere and what they're doing is they get hold of my organs they're wrapping themselves around my organs because when they did my hysterectomy it, it wrapped itself all around my womb and they had to try and untangle it um, <clears throat> So they've wrapped themselves around my bowel, around my bladder, around everything down there, everything. And every so often, at the moment, it's happening about once a year. Um, and each time I've been in hospital and they put me on a drip and then give me antibiotics. But each time I go into hospital and they do the CT scan, they keep saying they're finding other things like, oh, your appendix is ruptured, we've got to operate. And then the next day, no, it's not. It was some staples we saw from a previous surgery. I'm fed up with that. I'm not doing that this time. And they just send me home and I have to recover at home. So what's the point in going into hospital, you know? But what I am gonna do is if I'm the same tomorrow, I am going to ring my GP and have a chat with her about it and see if she thinks that I should have some antibiotics because it's usually an infection because what happens is the adhesions create this fluid in my abdomen that presses against everything as well and causes infection. So I'm gonna ask her if she thinks I need antibiotics. She might say no, she might say yes, we'll see. Um, but I'll just see, I'll see how I am tomorrow. It usually takes about a week for me to fully recover from this. So this week you're just gonna have to bear with me because my fibro is doing the best it can to cope with all of this. My hand went yesterday. So like I say, it's beach hut week. My mum and dad hire a beach hut um, for the week and they do it every August. I don't go down every day because that's too much. They do, but I don't. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting my friend Michelle tomorrow, so I'll see how I feel for that. I'm going to the beach hut Tuesday and Thursday this week um, and the other days I've got things on. So I'm going to try my best to get through the week and still enjoy myself and hopefully you will enjoy the video. 
but I wanted to give a heads up to this weekly <laughs> just so you're aware of what's going on and of course I will update you how I am each day and how things are going but I don't want to dwell on that too much I want to just give you a nice a nice vlog <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna put some makeup on and then we'll head off to the beach hut here we are this is the beach hut welcome back <laughs> dad's on tea duty <laughs> that's a funny mug isn't it that's the only one I've got <laughs> Can I put some water in here and then you Cheers. Cheers. Fend off the seagulls. Mark's come back with chips. <laughs> Was there a queue, Mark? Yes, it was really busy. Yeah, very popular up there. Are they the right way round, Mark? Uh, <laughs> right, let's go and have a paddle. Yes, what the barge? Yes. Let's go and have a paddle. Beach patrol are busy. No. <laughs> Sitting there watching the sea. Manic Monday, I had to think what day it was then. Um, I've put a bit of makeup on because my friend Michelle's going to pop round in about half an hour for a cuppa and a catch up. We were planning on going out today, we were going to go to um, what's, the word? what's the shop? Superdrug and MS. We've got like a little complex, shopping complex, and then we were going to have lunch in MS, and it sounded divine, but alas. I am still unwell <laughs> so had a lovely time at the beach hut yesterday well I literally I sat in the chair and just listened to the waves and shut my eyes and then me and mum had a paddle as you saw that was as much as I could do really I felt awful I came home feeling awful I cried <laughs> I cried in the car, I sobbed all the way home because I felt so ill and then 
I got home and I just went straight to bed. Mark came in, we watched some YouTube and we've been watching, I've been re-watching <laughs> Bridgerton with Mark because he hasn't seen it and he's actually been really enjoying it and he's like, do you want to watch another one? Do you want to watch another one? <laughs> and we've binge watched the whole of season one now together so we're on season two which is really nice because it's nice when you share something in common that you enjoy watching because we love Below Deck as you know, we've watched all them, we've, we loved um, Clarkson's Farm Jeremy Clarkson's farm that's finished series one and two so I'm really hoping there's going to be a series three but we're not sure uh, so yeah it's uh, that was nice but uh, uncomfortable because if I have to stay in bed for any amount of time I get really bad lower back pain and I try all different ways I try laying I try sitting I try uh, I try everything but it just hurts my back too much but I needed to be in bed, so I was like in catch 22. But anyway, did that. Had a reasonable night. I think I woke up a few times, but whatever. I woke, I remember waking up and turning over and going, oh, because you know when you don't feel well. Anyway, woke up feeling just as rough. So I phoned the doctors eight o'clock, as you have to do. My, I sort of tried to explain to the receptionist the urgency. So I said I've been trying, which is the truth, I've been trying to stay out of hospital all weekend um, due to my adhesions in my abdomen causing a problem. So anyway, I think because she'd said that, the doctor phoned me like hub state. I got a phone call from my doctor and she's such a lovely doctor, I'm so lucky. And I said to her, look, I've been ill since Friday, very sick Friday night. I know what it is, it's this again, I'm trying to stay out of hospital, I know if I go in there, put me on a drip and antibiotics etc, sorry that's just a train going past, um, but I, I just can't, like I said last time, it took 11 hours in A&E, with me sitting there for 11 hours, I said I just, I just can't, I can't do it. And I was hoping if she was going to send me in that she'd send me to a ward so I could skip A&E. But she said, no, you're right to stay out of hospital at the moment because there's a junior doc doctor strike on. So it's consultant-led only, which means hardly anyone's being seen and it's taking longer to be seen. So no thank you. As I feel, I feel like I could easily be in a hospital bed at the moment. But anyway, I don't want to be. Let's put it that way. So she said, oh, they, last time they gave you these antibiotics. And I said, yes, they made me very sick. So she said, okay, well, there's these ones that we could try for, that especially for the intestine, because I still haven't been to the toilet, you know what, um, three days now, <laughs> which is very unlike me. I, I'm pretty much the other way. Um, so and that's what happens because the adhesions which is scar tissue if you didn't know they twist and stick to all your organs and fuse them together and then they can like squeeze and stop them from doing things um, if an adhesion obstructs your bowel that's when it can become life-threatening and you have to go in and have it surgically removed but luckily touch wood that's not happened yet so she said she's going to put me on these antibiotics and amamoxicillin and she said just to drink plenty of fluids um if i can't tolerate the pain um or if i start being sick like poo basically if you if you bring up poo then you know there's an obstruction you've got to go straight in which i kind of knew anyway but I said to her, that's fine. I said, but what, this is happening more frequently now. She said the last, when I was admitted to hospital before, it was September, last September. And I said, me and my husband are just concerned, you know, obviously this is happening more frequently. And she said, well, because I, I said to her, I know they won't operate because if they operate to take the adhesions away, it's going to cause more adhesions. So it's catch 22. And she said, yeah, you're absolutely right. They won't operate. But she said, if this keeps becoming a regular thing and more frequent, then the long-term solution would be a stoma, which is a stoma bag. You know, I, I assume people know what a stoma is. It's basically, it replaces 
part of your bowel and it does the job for your bowel will admit the poo into the bag that you have attached to you um, instead of you going for a poo and I my obviously those of you that know my mum had that happen last Christmas by emergency and I really really don't want that to happen to me I don't want a bag so I might have to like I spoke to mum this morning and she was saying you know it's an option like it might save your life you might have to have it and you can live with it and I know you can and I know that's an option but I don't want it at the moment anyway I don't want it at all but I don't want it right now so that kind of scared me a little bit when she said that because I thought I you know with everything else I've got going on I just I just don't need that as well <laughs> so yeah that's where I am I'm waiting for the chemist to text me to say my prescriptions in like I say my friends coming in a few minutes and we're just gonna sit and have a cup of tea and a chat and yeah I'll just keep resting but I need to move as well because like I say my back is really playing up because of sitting so much <laughs> so I might do some stretches later the Cobra stretch is good I don't know if you're aware of that with yoga and the child's pose as well so I think I'm going to do a few stretches later to to help my back um, and to help the fact that I'm sitting so much but I can't help it because I just feel so rubbish that I'll do a little thing and then that's it I'm done you know I'm done in <laughs> right it's time to wrap up some presents I have just been down to the pharmacy to collect my prescription and absolutely I should not be driving but how else would I get the tablets because mum and dad are at the beach hut so I drove down there and they said oh we haven't got had a prescription for you for a long time and because I, I usually get mine from pharmacy to you so that I don't have to go out and pick them up so I had to phone up the doctors and they'd sent it to pharmacy to you when I specifically asked them to send it to the pharmacy. So there you go, I've got the toilet paper in my mouth now. So now, now I've got to wait. I don't even know if I'm going to get my tablets today, but whatever. So now I'm wrapping up Rich's present, which is something not very exciting for us it's something that to do with his one of his hobbies um haven't even opened it <laughs> i don't even know if it's all right <laughs> hopefully it is and his first day is on wednesday oh stuck to her now hang on i had a nice uh, catch up with michelle this morning but Oh, I was just so exhausted and, you know, try and, when you try and listen to your friend and, or whoever, it's hard when you're not feeling well. But I was pleased she came round and I was pleased to see her. Right, there is Mitch's. I'm going to sellotape the card to the present. So that I know that's his and now I've got to wrap my nephews he's saving for a house well I think he is buying a house at the moment so this is a kitchen roll holder he wanted so that's exciting isn't it <laughs> happy birthday I have a kitchen roll holder a bit like Poppy this year wasn't it where she got all stuff for uni I'm not going to risk it that way I'm going to do it that way because I don't think there's enough paper that way to cover it and there's nothing worse than cutting a bit of paper only to find out it won't reach so let's not risk it today <laughs> Pop 
his uni list to see what other things we need to get her and make a list of just the things we've got left to get her for uni because I was talking to Michelle and I was panicking a bit thinking have I got everything have I not I know we haven't got everything and there'll probably be stuff that she'll find that she'll need to get while she's there but I want to make sure she's got you know most of everything oh that's that exhausting job done Oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, with five around an ME, you don't get much energy anyway. But then to have something else on top of that, zaps even more energy. Right, I shall see you either later or tomorrow, probably now. Hello, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> Um, we're at the beach, if you haven't guessed. So all the palaver of my tablets yesterday afternoon. Um, the doctor, the doctors made sure that they cancelled it to pharmacy to you and sent it to the um, pharmacy, but not until 5 p.m. And Mark and I kept trying to ring the pharmacy because I didn't want to drive out again for no reason because it was hard enough the first time. And um, no answer. So we couldn't get the tablets yesterday. So we picked them up this morning on our way. And even then I went in and they said, oh, it wasn't, they weren't sent over till five o'clock, but they'd got them ready. So that was good. So I've taken them now, first ones today. So we'll see how they go down. And yeah, we're just gonna have a day at the beach. Chill the out. sun, chill the sun is glorious. Not a cloud in the sky at the moment, well, apart from over there, but we'll ignore that. Oh yeah, some over there. Some clouds that side, but that's fine. Dad's brought the umbrella today because they said yesterday was so hot they needed some shade. So yes, we're going to have a, a pleasant day at the beach. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to Lifeguard's going out on his jet ski. It's about as gripping as it gets here today. Yeah, so I thought off. I'd film it, yeah. It's tipped off. It's tipped off? Yeah, it's tipped off the And this time they're not going after our rubber ring. No. <laughs> oh, that's how it gets on. Yeah. That's true. There you go. <laughs> Where's he going? He's going the other way. Yeah, go and get some chips on the pier. <laughs> Maybe he's going to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like a lot of people have by the colour of the water. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was telling Nick about that seagull that comes on the wall every night. It? It's got a tag on it. Or it's been rigged. It's huge. 
And he just sits there looking. Waiting for food. He saw a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with a cheesy what's it? It's too strong. Uh, flavour's too strong. A bit like you only likes plain. Yes. Definitely. Don't drink the water. Happy towel wash Wednesday. I've just hung the towels out and it's quarter to two. <laughs> I've been um, to Sainsbury's. That apple has some better days. It's really wrinkly yeah what about these two they're all right i was going to say i've just been to flipping sainsbury's i don't want to flipping have to get more food because i've ordered a tesco shop tomorrow to be delivered because i'm at the beach hut again tomorrow so i thought i'd show you because tonight mark and i are going with angela and simon to Heddingham castle where we've been a couple of times before, we've taken you with us. And in the grounds of Headingham Castle, we're going to take our own chairs and a picnic and sit and watch Top Gun Maverick. We've seen it already in the cinema and we all loved it. So we thought, what better way to watch it again than in an open air cinema? And I've never done an open air cinema, so it's a first for me and Mark, I think. Um, so I had to get some picnic bits, so I'm going to show you what I got. So for dessert, we'll start with dessert first. I got four Belgian milk chocolate cookies and five oatmeal and raisin cookies. So we're all cookied out. <laughs> I got some chocolate fingers that are salted caramel. So they can go with the, the cookies, but it's very hot today. It's like 27 degrees. So I definitely will need to put some more freezer blocks in the freezer to put in the picnic bag. I also got some nice cherries for a bit of a healthy option. Um, this is not a healthy option. Some plain Pringles. Actually, I didn't look to see if they had the prawn cocktail ones Mark likes, but never mind. I've got these to cook. So I've got some chicken goujons to cook because I'm not taking enough picnic for everyone. I'm just taking it for me and Mark, but we are like just chucking it down and sharing it, I think. So everyone can have, or the, anyone can have a chicken goujon. Um, oh, these looked really nice. Look at these. They are chorizo regato or regato cheese pinwheels. So I thought they looked rather yummy. So I've got those. I got a French stick that I'm just going to cut into little rounds and butter. I'm just trying to put everything everywhere. Um, I've got Mark some tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes. And then I'm also going to chop up some celery and some cucumber in a pot as well. Um, I've got these sausage rolls that I thought looked really yummy. British outdoor bread pork, just four pork sausage rolls. They had lots of ones with different flavours, but I didn't like any of the flavours there. So, like, if they had, like, a red onion and cheese or something, I would have got that, but they didn't have anything like that. Oh, yeah, look at these I found as well. Arla Protein Salted Caramel. It's got 20 grams of protein and 77 calories per pot. So, that sounds delicious. So, I've got a couple of those. Um, I also got Mark two little mini pork pies, because he loves pork pies and I don't. What else I get? Oh, I'd get the guineas some more hay because they'd run out. Um, oh, and our drink tonight because I can't drink on my antibiotics. I'm going to show you my antibiotics in a minute as well. Um, lemon and lime sparkling for Mark. That's his favourite. And I got my favourite, which is light elderflower sparkling press. So, because we, I'm going to take a beer for Mark, but I can't drink because of the antibiotics. Um, so, this is the one that I'm on for my bowel infection. And then she put me on these as well to fight any other infection that's going on in there, just to make sure that we've got all infections covered. Um, and it's now an update if you want. It's now hurting when I wee, um, so whether that's getting infected now as well, I don't know if the amoxicillin will help that or not, I don't know, but we'll just take them and sit. I can't take any more antibiotics. <laughs> 
weeks. So we'll just see how, how it goes. But um, I'm feeling a bit better each day. I still feel spaced out a little bit and a very heavy feeling down below, which is what I know is the adhesions causing the infection. Um, but in myself, I feel better each day. A few moments later. Tail wash Wednesday, isn't it? <laughs> Tails are done, folded. Now to put them away. Artie's um, having a stroll, aren't you? He got himself a bit stuck, didn't you, Art? You got a bit stuck in your home. He can still fit in it. It's a cave, but the grass is quite long, so I think that's why he got a bit stuck. Plus, he moved it onto this group of rocks. So he got doubly stuck. <laughs> but there we are. You're free now, Art. You're free. You can have a little wander. Have a little wander around. Look, you've got a nice big pool of water here you could go in. It's a nice hot day. No. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, that's a bit pathetic. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> We're on our way to pick Angela and Simon up. And then we're going to go to Headingham Castle to watch Top Gun Maverick. Do 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 Copyright. <laughs> no, it's not that good singing <laughs> or humming or doing. <laughs> We've got all the picnic. We've got. I think I've. Oh, I didn't check the fridge to make sure I've got everything, but I think I have. Um, cook the goujons and yeah it's a lovely evening it's still I said to Mark it's 22 degrees and it's seven o'clock nearly so we've got a lovely evening for that's it why I put it on later so the sun's not in the that's true that's true that's brave man's walking his dog with a mobility scooter no my luck I would have run over Evie she hated the mobility scooter as well didn't she I hate most things to be fair Right, let's go and get Angela. There they are. <laughs> Here they are. Ready and waiting. Oh, well, we thought it would be easier not to um, disturb Maisie. Yeah. She sat there barking. Oh, yeah. oh that's true. Well, people I just did. No. Oh no, she's been barking anyway. <laughs> no. There we are. I love all the lights. It's because it's going to be pitch black, isn't it, when we <laughs> go back later. <laughs> oh, go over the bridge. We've got to show our tickets. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. God. I was going to bring a table, but Mark said no. Oh, so it's a carry, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got picnic blanket instead. Did you bring that? No, it's in the car still. We'll have to there use the go. grey one. We have to put all the food on. You wally. The no. This is where we're setting up anyway. Here we go. Picnic tea with tablets. <laughs> all set up. Here's a screen. Thanks. <laughs> I'll get some crisps as well. <laughs> no, that's fine. God, blimey. Got loads now. I don't know if we can even see it. We're on a countdown now, so everyone's rushing to the toilet. But me and Ange made an executive decision not to go. Just three feet up. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to wet ourselves. Mark's already peed his pants. <laughs> I can't put that in. Finger. <laughs> I'd love a finger. <laughs> it's not that sort of uh, evening. <laughs> Shut up. Finger. 
<laughs> Enjoy your chocolate finger. <laughs> it's even worse. <laughs> Three minutes and 26 seconds. Thank you. Would you like a chocolate finger? <laughs> If you want your ice cream, you better go now. Then go to it. Can you? Yeah, of course. Alright. <laughs> we've sort of finished the picnic well. We've eaten a lot of it. <laughs> it's getting dark. It's getting dark. And we've got a tea. It's lovely coffee, isn't it? And a coffee with your chocolate finger in it. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Weird Thursday, all day. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> um, oh, as you can see, just washed my hair, had a shower. We had a really good night last night. It was a bit chilly. It got really chilly towards the end. And Mark and I were not dressed appropriately. Ange and Simon were. <laughs> they had their jeans and trainers on. Mark had shorts on. I had three quarter length trousers on and sandals. We weren't dressed appropriately. I did take a cardigan, Mark took a jumper, and we had a blanket that we used for the picnic to put over our legs, which was okay actually. But next time we go, which I would do again, we will be more prepared <laughs> and dress more appropriately. But it was wonderful. Like to look at the, sorry, I'm printing something out. To look at the castle, I kept looking up, checking for ghosts. I was like, is there any ghosts? Is there any ghosts? But it got so dark I couldn't see anything. Um, there must be ghosts in that, that castle. And yeah, it was the atmosphere because there was so many people there. And at certain parts of the show, like someone would cheer out, yay, Maverick! And everyone, woo! <laughs> and it was just really good. Me and Ange had to go for a wee halfway through. And we had to use the phone on her, um, the phone, the torch on her phone, because we couldn't see a thing. And like, we, but we were desperate, so <laughs> we did that. And um, it was just really nice. And also, as we were watching Top Gun, these planes were going over. We were in the flight path of some, whether it was Stansted or where it was, but we we're in the flight path. And they were quite low and they had all their lights on. So as you're watching the Top Gun film, all these planes are going over your head with the lights. Like, oh, it was just, it was so atmospheric. And I just kept looking at the stars as well. I was like, <laughs> it was just amazing that we were watching a film under the stars. It was a night I will never forget. Let me put it that way. I really, really enjoyed it and I'm so glad I went. But we didn't get back till, was it about half 11, quarter to 12, something like that. By the time we got into bed, I mean, I didn't get to sleep till about one. Mark had to get up at five for work. So he had literally had about four hours sleep. <laughs> I didn't probably get much more than that because I wake up several times a night, as you know, with fibro. So there we are. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready. I've got less than half an hour before mum and dad arrive and we're going to the beach hut for the last day for me. Just going to turn that fan off. Um, it'll be the, my last day at the beach hut. Mum and Dad have their last day tomorrow. But it'll be nice just to chill out again. Oh, I've got to put the puzzle book in. We did a puzzle last time and it was really, really good. So I'm going to do that again. I'll take my reading book, finish that off because I haven't got much left to finish. And yeah, just have a nice day. Probably go for another paddle. I don't think it's supposed to be as hot today. It was so hot yesterday. So it, I think it's supposed to be a bit cooler today, which mum will probably prefer anyway, to be honest. But yeah, let's go and have another and a last hurrah, is it? A last hurrah at the beach hut. <laughs>
my beach hut for another year. Don't do that. Yeah. Closing up. Closing up shop. <laughs> Happy Friday. I know I don't usually film on a Friday, and I'm not. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to finish the vlog yesterday. Today I have been to the back pain clinic so far and I was so tired because I've had to set my alarm every day this week and I know you might think oh poor you you know for those of you that work but my body does not cope well with setting an alarm it copes well with waking up when it wants to wake up which is always between seven and eight but if that alarm goes off for some reason that puts my body out so I'm in the pain management not pain management the back pain clinic literally doing this <laughs> like I was like whoa you know when you're like trying to keep your I must have looked like a, a shocked rabbit in headlights because I was sitting there like no they're not gonna shut, they're not gonna shut. <laughs> anyway if you want to hear more about the back pain clinic and how I have been getting on and everything I am filming a separate video that will be up on a Wednesday not anytime soon because there's it's a six-week course saying that not sure if I'm going back so you might have that video sooner than expected anyway today I'm just wiping I'm in Poppy's room if you hadn't guessed I'm just wiping over her windowsill and things and notice that all her Lego characters have fallen off of their stands so I'm gonna go I'm gonna be just putting them back on and I've got a few bits and pieces to do today on a Friday I generally wipe over the bathrooms and actually I haven't edited any of the weekly vlog yet that you're watching now because I've I was at the beach hut yesterday and you know Thursday is usually my editing day so if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook the editing faces will have to be a day late I'm afraid I usually post for those of you that don't have it a face of me what a like a screenshot of my funny face while I'm editing because I get some crackers I tell you get some crackers <laughs> anyway um, I'm feeling much better now from the infection I'm still on the antibiotics it still feels very heavy down there so I know it's the infection hasn't gone yet so it's still in the way of going out um, but I'm still just trying to look after myself really and hopefully I can get over this next episode of adhesion trauma one more thing that I didn't do this week is show you how to share my video onto social media onto your social media so I'm going to do that now okay right so you're on YouTube page okay and you can just look up I'm obviously going on to my channel but if you look up my Lord and Lordettes that's the uh, trailer so for example say you wanted to share home sense all right let's just stop that a minute um, on the bottom here let me zoom in you've got a share button um, so if you click that okay it comes up with this at the bottom so if you wanted to share it to your news feed on Facebook you would just click that and it should take you to your news feed which there we go it comes up you can write something here say so, right this is um, Nicholas from Lord and Lordettes that I watch if you fancy watching it whatever or you don't have to write anything you could just share it and then literally at the top you've got the post button and you post it okay that's how you share i hope that helps but if it doesn't and if you're still stuck on how to share then drop me a message wherever you want and i'll try and help you through it anyway give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it subscribe for future videos drop me a nice comment and i will see you all on wednesday ah it's a fibro section i think yes another fibro section so i will see you then have a lovely weekend take care bye